Hi, I'm Tangles. This is my garage, and this is my car. Oh, I did have to come back to this side. The circle of thing on the other side, I didn't close it up when I did the other one. But I also need to close that pin back up, uh, clip back up. Uh, this side was easy. Went together, no dramas at all. So, yeah, and I'll pull the other side apart and put it back together in like two minutes when I did the far side this took 10 and the other side took like 45 minutes plus Google time so um, yeah practice makes perfect the more you do it the better you get at it but yeah it's just figuring out I just hadn't come across that sort of pin mechanism before and um, yeah yeah stuff like that you know you gotta figure it out it's not that hard Google usually helps it didn't in this case but I mean, there's only one way it could come off, and that was to be split apart. And then I figured I could reuse them as long as I push them back together, and they push back together just fine. So, so they're back in the car. Um, ready for a rotor and a caliper, uh, which I've got to rebuild the caliper. So uh, that'll be the next job. I've already done that a couple of times, I think, on this. So I won't record that. Oh, I might, but I probably won't show you. Well, um, good morning. It's the day after I rebuilt that caliper. I'd still only done the one. I got sidetracked. I had to go and do some stuff. Uh, so I'm back to it this morning. What I realised um, last night is... Where the bloody hell are they? These are the dust boots for the camera arms and they're not on so that means the camera arms got to come out put the dust boots on um, hopefully I can just sort of loosen the outer bolt and under the inner one drop it down a little bit get it over and then stick it back in without too much hassle but yeah that's annoying so make sure you put your boots on uh, along with the dust boots the other thing I forgot to do <coughs> I was greased. I didn't grease the. Uh, didn't grease it, so uh, I'll be greasing them. That this is the grease that comes with them. Yeah. So in my sort of excitement to do those, despite the fact that it took over a week to do them because I did one one week and the other next week, um, with other stuff happening, sort of slipped my mind. So uh, yeah, annoying. I should be able to still grease it in there though, using the same tactic, just loosen the outside, under the inside, and then get in there, put some grease and then the uh, boot. Also, since this camera has crapped out, each time I've gone to film this, uh, I can film it again. So, silver linings. Uh, 17, one end, 19 the other. No space for, no real space for ratchets and stuff. Pretty much. Let's go to start it with spinners. Uh, you can get it on the back side, you don't get much out of it. And you can't get much force on it. It's a 15 mil like that. 17, that's the one after. So only undo the nut so I don't want to bolt out because the camber um, stuff is on the bolt side. Shoot the finger tight now. Yep. Can do the 
rattle gun. Oops. On the uh, outside here, so. I'll just crack it. I need it outside again. No load to get this in. I don't know why there's a load on it now. I mean, there was the lightest bit of load. I had to pull on it a little bit. That's it released. One of these came out. That's right. I want to sit there. That's all quite dirty usually. Now the washer. Here it is. I didn't show you this before, but not that it would have worked. So that's the camera bulb. That's the washer. And they also announced a big national tour off on August the eighth in Darwin. Goes on the back side. Uh yeah, and so that gives you adjustment for the factory arms. But factory arms be damned. Apparently there's a GK Tech replacement bolt for those. I wasn't aware of it. So they're going back in. And want to do the next lot of arms, maybe I'll replace that bolt. Alright, let's get some grease on these and put the boot on. Liberal coating of this grease, I suppose. Okay, everything's covered liberally with that grease. Let's put the boot on. It seems as though it should just stretch over it. Should get the dust off out of the joint. Let's put it all back together. So yeah, same again. Um, don't know what, if anything, I can show from the previous time I did it because it kept cutting out. Where's the camera bolt? There it is. 
So this I put in the same position as it came out, which is what the other side set to because I use this side to set the other side. Uh, we'll put that in first. The Campbell washer with the odd shape. Got to make sure I put it on the right way. So that's the Campbell washer on. So, let's do the right finger tight. Should give you the movement and slack and play to get this in without too much effort. Voila. And now, making sure that camber bolt's in the right place. We can start doing this part. Get a little bit of tension on it, otherwise it'll just move anyway. Okay, start a little, a little bit of tension on that. Make sure there's a correct orientation. Yep. Just happens to be pretty much perfect. Bear in mind, this is going to get in alignment. First thing, so. Hold it in the correct location. Bring it to the shop. Right, that's bloody tight. And the outside, which is 219s. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. She's um oh, let's turn around. She's all protected from the dust now. And she's all in and done. So yeah. Happy days. Also gonna put some of this grease um, on the back side. These sort of rubbing plates. Uh, where the where the drum set um, to Save that and also put a little bit on here. It's a sort of thing to do that. So, yeah, I'm going to grease up a few spots and probably take the front pads out. I think that's high temperature grease as well. And put some on the back side of the pad. And that should stop squeaky, vibration y, noisy things or some of it. It probably won't eliminate it all, but it'll help. Alright, cool. Uh, we're going to do the other side now and then hopefully move on to the next bloody job which is rebuilding the last caliper and putting it all together. <laughs>